Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today we have a short video quickly covering the new experimental build that released today, November 3rd. This update is 0.9.6.64, or 6.64 for short. This build is a series of bug fixes and minor changes to continue to complement the recent release of update 0.9.6. So, let's just get right into this. <laughs> First up, we have some changes on the zeroing to the M60 and the RPG. For both of these weapons, they had misaligned and mispositioned zeroing, however now for both of them, this is fixed, as well as a fix to normals for the RPG. Moving away from gunplay to general movement, for players with specialty keyboards and buttons that measure how hard you press a button, character's roll will now only trigger when prone if the input is above 50%, or at least that's what I think this update note is trying to say. They have also disabled the ability to go prone or roll while in water. Trying to do so now will just cause you to go back to crouch mode. There's also some tweaks to the tutorial, however for me, I couldn't get either of these tweaks to actually work. First is the tutorial apparently won't have a blinking map in the deploy screen anymore, but I have no idea when in the tutorial a deploy map even appears, as dying does not cause one to show up. But if you guys know a point, then at that point it should no longer blink. And the second apparent change was that when resuming the tutorial there would be no apparent you know, spawn points for you to spawn at. However, again, due to no deploy screen, even when rejoining the round, I have no idea of how this could be shown or even proven. But hopefully it works and you guys won't be trying to spawn in in the tutorial and having no available spawn points. We can then switch to general changes, including changes that aren't possible for me to show. These include the player penalty system should now no longer fail to register some kills, script cleanups that should fix compilation fails during a script event, and analytics that have been disabled counting the player spawn, score, and player die events. Finally, crash should now be flattened in vehicles for passengers and should no longer clip through the vehicles, finally putting an end to the wacky grass just clipping through the bottom of the car when one was driving. However, this did not fix the bushes that still clip through the car, as those still look extremely silly and will blind the driver going through them. But that is all for today. It's not a huge update and really more so some extra polish to help clean up 0 .0.9.6. And in general, a lot of its bug notes and you know fixes weren't as clearly worded as in most updates, which kind of creates a strange situation where maybe some of these changes were a little bit larger than we know, uh, but the terminology used to describe them was a, a bit weird. Um, it's not a horrible update though, so hopefully it gets rolled out to the full build soon. But until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.